Okay, my opponent's response to our first contention, which is about the correlation between economic globalization and beneficial poverty impacts over time, is that China is the bulk of those benefits and that China doesn't count because of their bad economic policies. First of all, it doesn't matter if they're the bulk of the impacts or not. He's talking about 500 million people, human beings, raised up from poverty. It doesn't matter what country they're from. Second of all, the nature of the economic policies that correlate with the benefits aren't our concern. We're only concerned whether or not the benefits are demonstrable, they're provable, factual. And we've established that, in fact, they are. In fact, our opponent helped us by reading this card, giving us 500 million little bits of impact. Um, okay. The second response to our second our response to our second contention, which was uh, the embrace of, um, which was the reduction of tariff rates, reducing inflation rates, was to drop our warrant. Instead of instead of actually addressing the warrant about inflation, my opponent dodged it and simply said that the reduction in tariff rates helps the rich people who sell stuff overseas. Well, that is true, but. It does not answer the point about inflation at all, which means you should please extend this argument across the flow, Judge. And remember, this is definitely a voter because the reduction of inflation rates for every single person on the planet adds up to a massive, massive impact in terms of poverty reduction. Okay. Our third point was about Africa and how the countries in Africa that embraced economic globalization benefited and the countries that didn't embrace it didn't benefit so much. And his response to that is to cross-apply his contention and claim that Africa is, in fact, neg ground, and additionally, to talk about Dutch disease and resource-dependent economies and the vulnerability of such economies to fluctuations in the market. Judge, listen, this is important. Cross-apply his own logic. Either exceptions are excluded or they're not. If we exclude exceptions, Africa is the exception. It's the one continent where economic globalization hasn't shown as many benefits. So exclude them both, we win. Exclude neither, we win. That's it. All right, that was pretty close.